the Singapore Writers' Festival is returning at the end of October, and it's going digital for the first time. Authors will engage audiences in conversations surrounding the impact of COVID-19 with a focus on what intimacy means to them during such a time. The public can attend programs showcasing topics such as travel writing and comics in a world of restrictions. For more, we're joined right now by its festival director, Pooja Nancy, and Singaporean author, Ning Tai, who's now based in Switzerland. Ladies, welcome. Thank you for joining us right now. Pooja, let's start Thank the conversation you. with you. Can you briefly take us through some of the programs for the festival this year, as well as the adjustments that you've had to make following COVID-19? Uh, yeah, sure. So we were all on track, ready to plan a physical festival. And as we all know, the world turned upside down on its head. So the team and I had to quickly react to what was going on uh, in our world. And we decided what better theme than to think about intimacy in a time of social distancing when we're all apart um, and talking through screens like we are now. So a lot of the festival has been... Uh, sort of reimagined to address what's happening in the world around us. Uh, so festival goers can still expect very familiar formats like panels and talks, uh, but we also have a whole bunch of digital commissions for the first time that are exploring uh, what literature can look like in the digital sphere. So we've got like play your own adventure games. Uh, we have like uh, narratives that unfold via email every day. And uh, it's a really nice wide range of programs available. And Ning, you'll be conducting a workshop on travel writing uh, during a time of the of quarantine. Uh, tell us more about that. So travel writing in a time of quarantine is an interactive three hour long Zoom workshop uh, about crafting your own personal travelogue or holiday memoir from travel life pre-COVID-19. Uh, pre so using photographs uh, from past travels, uh, participants will learn tips on uh, finding their best stories and themes as well as how to transform authentic experiences uh, into page turning chapters in this new normal. Ning, you're in quite a delightful part of the world in Luzon, Switzerland right now. How are you coping at the moment? <laughs> Well, I think, you know, everyone is having a lot of challenges and changes uh, at this time. Uh, for me personally, I uh, we had a baby boy seven months ago, so it's been quite uh, a struggle in a sense because uh, I really miss my family, I miss Singapore. Uh, it was really tough because of the travel restrictions, as you know, and um, my little boy was uh, born a few months just prior to my grandma's passing in Singapore, so I just really miss home. Well, congratulations on, on motherhood. Uh, plenty to write about, I'm sure, if you can sort of square away the time. I know it's a very busy thing to be doing. Uh, in what ways, though, has COVID-19, the restrictions, influenced your writing? Well, you know, as, as writers, we, we feed off life and uh, I've just thrown myself in, into work uh, because of COVID-19, my, my book, uh, the, my sixth book, actually. So the sequel to Misdirection, it's called Manipulation. It was meant to be out this year, but because of the pandemic, Epigram Books has pushed it to next year. So look out for it. Uh, so right now, currently, uh, besides preparing uh, the writing workshop for SWF, I'm also busy working on my seventh book, which is the final uh, uh, book to the trilogy. So uh, yeah, just busy uh, writing and teaching and motherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Pooja, you know, life for everybody on this planet has changed in, in so very many ways. Yeah. And, and one of the things that has happened, of course, is this acceleration into digitalization across various industries. So what kind of impact do you think that this has had on the literary scene here? Uh, I think it's been very interesting because a lot of literary organizations uh, had to adapt like everyone else, as you as you rightly said, and uh, found ways to go online and stay connected. And uh, of course, sometimes it works out because writers are an introverted lot. So uh, we've been able to have the best of both worlds in some ways, like we still get to interact with other writers across the world. And so in some ways, it's brought us closer uh, to the rest of the literary global family. And we get to do it in the comfort of our own homes. So that's been the plus point. But of course, I think what's been a challenge is also just kind of missing uh, the buzz of being in a room 
uh, where a conversation is happening and exchanging, you know, your views with um, an audience member next to you. So we're trying to see how we can bring that kind of community feeling into a digital festival. And, and I think it'll be exciting to see how this edition unfolds. I wish you all the best with it as well. Thank you so much for speaking with us this evening. Pooja Nancy, the director of Singapore Writers' Festival and Singaporean author Ning Tsai.